More than a billion dollars to help end the opioid crisis. North Carolinians pushed for it. It's been three years since a major opioid settlement. So how are local counties really spending the money? Well, in just one hour, Caldwell County leaders will lay out where it's now going to be able to be allocated and where that money will actually go. Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young has been digging through this. So Taylor, we understand this money is being distributed to all 100 counties across the state. How is it being used, though? Yeah, so what we're seeing right now is counties like Gaston, Mecklenburg, and Caldwell not only expanding current programs aimed at reducing overdoses, but they're also creating new ones. Now, we did speak with county leaders, program directors, and emergency services across our region, all who say the money is desperately needed and will be put to good use. $1.5 billion spread across North Carolina to prevent opioid addiction. The majority of funding going towards support services and programs like Queen City Harm Reduction. I think what's really important to remember is that this money goes to communities and people. While some counties like Caldwell do not yet know how much settlement money is coming its way, Mecklenburg is set to receive $73 million over an 18-year period and Gaston County, $40 million. They were already doing really great work with limited resources, limited hours. So one of the first strategies we initiated and the commissioners approved was expanding. While some programs are expanding, others are being created. So far this year, Gaston County Emergency Medical Services has responded to 404 overdoses, 38 of which were children between the ages of 10 months old and 17. The rise in younger opioid victims has put a spotlight on the need to begin prevention earlier. So we will be funding um, behaviorists who are embedded in beginning with three schools as a pilot program to work with youth who already have identified uh, substance use concerns. So that's a new program. In Mecklenburg, Queen City Harm Reduction is set to receive $118 million in settlement money. The nonprofit says funding is going towards naloxone treatments and the launching of a housing pilot. We really hope to see the support continue because without the settlements and without funders and stakeholders just seeing how much we can do, um, it, it makes me very nervous for how the future looks for some of these locations throughout the counties you're currently covering. Now, as mentioned, tonight at 6, Caldwell County Commissioners are meeting to discuss their settlement funds. We will have updates from that meeting on our website at qcnews.com. Alicia? All right, thank you, Taylor, for that.